Las Vegas is the setting this Saturday for UFC 259, where four title holders compete for three titles. In the main event, Israel Adesanya aims to join an elite group as he looks to become a double champion. Adesanya competes against light heavyweight champion Jan Blachowicz, who is looking to make the first defense of his title. Amanda Nunes puts her featherweight title on the line in the co-main event, with the added caveat of Peter Yan defending his bantamweight title. This is UFC 259 Behind the Tape, where we look beyond the tail of the tape to bring you stats before the event. Please subscribe to the channel for MMA content made by fans for the fans. Hit the bell to be informed when our videos go live. Israel Adesanya sits at a perfect 9-0 in his UFC career. Only 9 fighters have had a 10 plus fight win streak in modern UFC history. Stylebender chases greatness and will join a list of all time greats should he be victorious. This will be the first time in the history of the light heavyweight division that a fighter from the United States or Brazil has not been represented in a title fight. In fact, the only bouts that didn't feature an American was the Leota Machida and Shogun Hua series. Israel Adesanya has seven knockdowns in his four UFC title fights. He is tied second with TJ Dillashaw, George St. Pierre and Chuck Liddell as he chases the legendary Anderson Silva, who finished his UFC career with 10 title fight knockdowns. UFC 259 will be the 554th scheduled UFC event and it will be just the second time in UFC history that two Europeans have defended their titles on the same card. Michael Bisping and Ioanni Jacek both lost their belts at UFC 217. Jan Blachowicz and Peter Jan will look to have better luck as they both make the first defence of their belts. Australia's Megan Anderson looks to take another UFC title down under. With a win, Australia will become only the seventh country to have multiple UFC champions born on its shores. The United States, Brazil, Holland, Nigeria, Russia and Poland are currently the only nations that can make this claim. The odds are firmly stacked in favour of the Brazilian. The biggest underdog winner with the bookies is Shayna Dobson who bested Maria Agapova in 2020 at odds of plus 950. Anderson is listed as high as plus 840. A win will be the third highest betting upset since odds were tracked. Peter Yan is one of six UFC champions to have been born in the 1990s. Robert Whitaker was born in 1990. Cody Garbrandt, Max Holloway and Jessica Andrade were born in 1991. Rose Namajunas was born in 92. Yan was born in February of 1993, meaning no UFC champion has been born at a later date in history. The only fighter scheduled for a title fight that could usurp him is Brandon Moreno. Derek Lewis took the crown of UFC's greatest knockout artist when he took out Curtis Blades for his 12th knockout in the organisation. Thiago Santos currently sits on 11 and has a chance to tie the record when he faces talented Austrian Alexander Rakic. Number 11 ranked bantamweight Dominic Cruz hasn't won a fight in the UFC since June 4th, 2016. This will be 1,737 days on fight night. This is the single longest winless streak for a ranked fighter in UFC history. Conor McGregor at lightweight is second on that list. Though he has stayed at the highest level for his entire career, Benavidez holds the worst undisputed title fight record in UFC history. He is the only fighter to have gone 0-4 when challenging for undisputed gold. Add in a WEC title loss to Dominic Cruz and it only solidifies his status. Thanks for tuning in. We will be back next week with more stats from behind the tape. Be sure to like and subscribe.